Okay, when I'm working in After Effects and I've got my uh, Wacom tablet uh, and I want to do any kind of roto work, whether it's a uh, you know, roto spline or it's a uh, roto brush, if I'm painting, if I'm cloning, whatever I'm doing that's going to be going frame by frame, I find I'm really struggling with having to use the keyboard and the Wacom tablet at the same time on everything. If I want to uh, move the frame around here, I have to hold down the space bar uh, to grab that. And if I want to uh, try to change my brush size, I have to hold down the command key and then I can change my brush size. If I want to find a new target point for cloning, I have to find the option key and find that. And worse is if I want to go to the next frame, I have to position myself where I can get over here <laughs> and I've got the uh, page up and page down uh, keys that are on the extended keyboard. And if I don't have an extended keyboard, then that's even more difficult. In order to speed things up, I like to program the buttons that are already here on the Intuos 4. So I've got eight buttons. I only use uh, five of them, these four and then this one. And then I also use the scroll wheel, which I program. Plus I've got two buttons here on the pen. So if I can program all of these to do the functions I want, I can just take the keyboard and toss it aside while I'm doing my roto work. So let me show you how I set mine up. So the first thing I do is set up my pen. And I can either do it so that uh, the changes that I make are global, which means that the buttons and settings that I uh, choose will work for all applications if they have the same functions. But just to be safe, I usually just grab the application I'm working on, which is Adobe After Effects CS 5.5. Click OK, and now any of the options that I change, the buttons or the uh, tool itself, the uh, function buttons, uh, will only be effect uh, in After Effects itself. So the first thing I do is I change this uh, button here closest to the tip. This is a toggle, but this button here closest to the tip uh, gets changed to a modifier. So I change that to the command key, or I guess that would be control key on a PC and click OK. So now, instead of having to hit the command key on the keyboard, I just click this little button and I can click and drag, click, drag, and I can change my brush settings all day long. So anytime I, I'm painting or I'm cloning or uh, erasing something, whatever, I can just click, drag, change my uh, brush size there, and that works really, really well for that. It's very, very intuitive and it's very quick. Now I also uh, change this toggle here because right now uh, by default it's a double click. I don't need to double click anything but sometimes I do need to get a contextual menu so I'll change that to right click. So that way if I am working on something and I need to get a contextual menu I just right click and then I can select what I wanna wanna get into here depending on what uh, type of window I'm in or whatever. So my right click is right there handy. Uh, my command click is right here for changing my brush sizes. And then everything else is just pressure sensitivity of the pen itself. So now I want to start programming these buttons here so they have function. So I come over here to functions, click on that, and I can start changing these. Well, the one thing that I find that I use the most would be the option key. And depending on the tool that I'm in, I need to use it to set a new target. Or if I'm in the roto brush, I need to switch between positive and negative. Uh, so I'm going to put that on the very bottom here. So I'm going to go to modifier and click option, click OK. And then I also use when I'm doing any kind of uh, uh, rotoscoping, brushing, whatever, I need to move my frame around my work area inside because I like to work at high percentages. A lot of times I'm working on a 2K or 4K file and if I look at it so that it's all squeezed down into the frame to fit the frame, I'm only looking at about 16%. I like to work at 100 or 200% so I can really see what I'm working on. I need to be sc scrolling around and moving that uh, image around in there a lot. So I'm going to set that for this top button here right up here. And that's going to become 
my spacebar. So that's just a keystroke, and I hit space, and I can give it a name so that it shows up on the menu, and I'm just going to call it spacebar. So as soon as I hit OK, we'll see on here that will change. The little uh, LEDs show up here, and they tell us what all of these different uh, functions have been uh, changed to. So these uh, two keys here in the middle, I'm going to program my page up and my page down to those. So I'll go to keystroke. I'll just call that up. And this one I'll go to keystroke and I'll call that down. Okay, so now I can look on my Intuos here and I see I got spacebar, up, down, and option. So now when I'm working on a project, I can move my frame around. I can change my brush sizes. I can hit option right here. I can select a new target. I can come out and start painting. Change brush size, paint some more. Then I want to change to the next uh, setting. So instead of having to come over here and, and play with the keys, I just come up here. I can go up or I can go down and that will take me frame by frame as I'm working. I can hit spacebar here, move it around. So everything's right here that I need to work with right on the Wacom tablet and in my pen. Okay, one more button that I like to uh, change right here on my uh, Intuos is I like to change that to modified uh, keystroke, and that is Command Z. Got to have an undo because there's a lot of times you overpaint something, you don't want to have to reach for the keyboard to do it. So I'm going to call this undo. There we go, it's reflected there. And the one thing I like to do here on the toggle, uh, toggling between these, these different ring functions, is to change this to zoom because I like to be able to zoom in and out of my uh, window while I'm working on it and leave the other modifiers as they are. Now to get to that you see this little LED up here and that tells you what position of the wheel that you're on. Plus you see on your screen it tells you what you're going through as well. And I rarely ever cycle through to the other things because I like to do as much as I can with just one hand. Okay, now I can use the touch ring to zoom in and out of my uh, scene so I can see what I'm working on here. So those are the most useful uh, buttons that, that we've got access to here on the Intuos 4. I can now take my keyboard, set it aside while I'm just working with my Wacom tablet and my buttons here, and I can go through all of my roto functions uh, very easily uh, without ever having to touch my keyboard while I'm in that process.